George Bush as he's such a classic um, purveyor of this madness, this uh, insanity that they they want to impose upon uh, the world. And as presidents go, he's he's a bit higher up the, up the ladder than say his son or some of some of the others. And I would want to confront him um, with not just questions about his role through the years in so many things, because coming from a, a bloodline family, he, he would have been brought from birth. He would be developed to be in the positions that he was in, head of the CIA um, and uh, vice president, president, and all these other things that he was involved in. Um, but there's another area of Father George Bush, which is, is something that a lot of conspiracy research doesn't, doesn't cover, but, but really needs to, and that is pedophilia. Um, it's, it's, it's a deep rabbit hole, um, but when you connect the dots, you can explain why the ratio of pedophiles to positions of power, especially in the higher levels, is fantastic government operatives, primarily the CIA, it's called the Black Rose. And it, it has for many years run illegal drugs and arm operations, uh, both uh, Southeast Asia via the Golden Triangle and the Middle East via the Golden Crescent founded by the British Socialist-based uh, Russell Trust drug cartel. The Black Rose, current chairman and co-founder, is an individual known as the White Rose, or GHWB, also known as uh, better known as George Bush. Indeed, it was Bush who, as top member of the Skull and Bone Society, developed the heroin ring, which uh, serviced as ambassador along with his CIA activities. The back rows also run, ran cocaine through Panama from Colombia to the offshore oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico, all owned by... He is the man who, when he was chief executive officer, when he was president of the offshore division of Zapata Oil, organized and began the first large-scale drug smuggling operations into this country. George Bush is the one responsible for the drugs on the streets. And the war against drugs is not a war against drugs, it's a war against the Bill of Rights. We've already lost the Fourth Amendment in this war. That's true. And we're going to lose everything else. That unidentified White House aides in the Carter, Reagan, and Bush administrations now are being investigated for using the services of a callboy ring. The paper reports that two of the male prostitutes were given a late-night tour of the White House last year. The White House press secretary, Marlon Fitzwater, said he knew nothing of this investigation. NBC's Lisa... Two separate parties, 
once with a white kid, one with once with a black kid. You never you saw him twice. Yeah. And the kid had a full ball of sex on him. <laughs> and what happened after they finished? He just got up and 